Okay, guys, we're going to get started. Welcome to the Team Perseverance weekly team call. It is, holy cow, June 12th. We are just outside of one month until Coach Summit in New Orleans. Holy cow, we're going to be having a blast there with 35,000, approaching 40,000 coaches, which I, what I'm hearing about in the Superdome, in the NFL football stadium there. Holy cow, Summit is the best event of the year, leaving fired up and just taking your business to another level. So for those of you that don't know me, welcome. My name is Dave Atkins, founding coach of Team Perseverance and your upline eight-star diamond coach. And I'm here, come each week to do news, training, announcements, recognition. And many weeks we like to get some of our new Team Perseverance diamonds on here as we do tonight. Um, or sometimes we have special guests. But we always start with some, um, some just announcements. I have a couple things I want to go over for you guys. Um, first, guys, Sean Week dropped today. So, I mean, records hit. I think Carl Deichler put a post up that almost, I think it was almost double the amount of people concurrently were on BOD at the same time. So at its peak, there were over 10,000 people um, on BOD at any given moment that were all streaming insane basics from Sean Week, like that workout. So it was through the roof. Tomorrow, a new workout drops. We have the amazing Team Perseverance group that is close, I think, approaching 500 people. We're hearing amazing feedback. People like, this is exactly what I need. I love the energy. I love that, you know, the videos that, you know, you know the way that we're keeping it organized. Yes, guys, I want you to have an open mindset. If you're like, holy cow, holy crap, this group is so big. We have it. You don't need to check in with everybody, but it's our team. It's our support. It's the energy. We're doing it together. That's what it's about. You have to look at it on the upswing of things. And we have so many coaches that are back engaged, fired up, active coaches again because of Sean Week and what we're doing. So I'm super excited about that. So hope you hope you guys are all in that group. Next, guys, which I was just saying, Coach Summit is around the corner one month away. It is not too late to get a ticket. It is not too late to go to the biggest event of the year. It is not too late to get to the event that I feel that you're not really a true beach body coach until you get to summit. It is, it is not too late to get to the event that me personally took my business from hobby for two years to six figure income. Simply saying, going to summit, hearing a message from a certain coach because it was live and hearing their story and looking around at what we were part of and hearing Carl speak and the, being live with the trainers opened my eyes that, to, a, to a way I'll never forget. And that was the game changer. And it took major sacrifice to get there, major shuffling the kids around with multiple babysitters, taking, trying to get time off from work was a struggle. It was not easy, but it was so worth it. And every year I say it again and again and again how big Summit is. So get to Coach Summit. Um, it's one month away. We are ordering T-shirts, Team Perseverance T-shirts, Team Perseverance logo on the front, right? The eagle, inspire, invite, help, connect, which is our motto. And on the back, it's going to say um, Team Perseverance, Coach Summit, New Orleans 2017. So we are super excited about that. Very important, guys. Listen up. It's going to be a flash sale. It's only going to be up for like three days. Kristen is getting the information. It's going to go up most likely on Thursday on the Team Perseverance page. You're going to have the link to order directly. You snooze, you lose. So you need to be plugged into the Team Perseverance page so you know when the shirts can be ordered. Next, we are also in the background. Actually, Kristen is also negotiating and working hard to have a Team Perseverance team party that we have had the past couple of years at Summit. It's going to be on um, Thursday night before the official kickoff in the Superdome, um, probably like a 6 to 7.30 cocktail hour with some food. So stay, stay tuned for that as well. So we are, wow, it's a lot of great things are happening. Um, next, guys, um, the, big, the biggest thing I think that I'm excited about is we're launching into the United Kingdom in this, as they call it, autumn in United Kingdom. Kristen and I are excited. Yes, it's taking a lot of work. Yes, it's taking a lot of energy um, to put it in. But these people, guys, if you're willing to take the call that I did, um, I think it was last week or was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I think, because of Memorial Day, um, about how to run Facebook ads and what to target. 
These people, I just found out, they, for like six, seven years, have been doing beach body programs. They love Sean T. They love the challenge groups Kristen and I are in. They can't wait for coaching. It is a breath of fresh air. Don't be in the stands watching everybody on the fields come when they announce the launch date in maybe October is my guess. And then all these other coaches are trying to get people, secure them now, run free challenge groups, give them the support motivation so when they launch, you can sign them up. So when it launches, if they bring friends in, you can help them rank advance right away. So when it launches, your business can grow, your income can grow, your team can grow, but it requires the work now. So that's a big thing. Um, the last thing I want to get into um, is recognition. Um, give some recognition. Then I'm going to kick it to Kristen to introduce Joan. Um, and I'm super excited to hear about from her. So let me get right into, guys, some recognition. Um, first and foremost, guys, for the month of May, Julia Carrera had 16 success club points and nine new coaches. And Julia led the team for the whole month of May in both categories. So, Julia, way to crush it, um, girl, and absolutely be an amazing leader. And everybody, I'm, we're going to have to get you on a call soon because we all want to know what you're doing because you're kicking some serious butt. So our weak leg team volume and team perseverance in the 300 club, Maureen Garrett, Deirdre Pashley, Darlene Champ, Mike Delasala, Mike Holdman, Lisa Marr, Cindy Corwin, Angela McLaughlin. In the 500 club, Tony Carlucci, Devin Wheaton, Gina Strecco, Cami Cowart, Bob Strecco, Allison Cross, Joan Caruza, Eleanor Pop, Cindy Lloris. In the 1,000 Club, Jeff Nolson, Lindsey Kaufman, Shannon Lloris, Kelly Delavecchia, Sharice Nolson, Kristen Atkins, Michelle Delasala, and Jennifer Holdman. And the 2,000 Club, Denise Bropson, my second business center, Stacey Lloris. And the 3,000 Club, Kristen Atkins, Tara Richmond, and Shana Carlucci. And in the 10,000 Club, myself and my first business center. So, guys, congratulations to everybody and a huge congratulations to Julia um, for leading the team in both Success Club points and for coaches. So, without further ado, I want to kick it to Kristen, who's going to give an awesome recognition and introduce our girl, Joan, for the call. So, come hither. Shall I come over in my pajama pants? <laughs> this, that's the beauty of this job, right? Am I, am I going to sit there? Oh, I thought it was taking a seat. No. Okay. Hey guys, how is everybody tonight? Thanks for joining us. Um, so I am really excited for this call. I know Joan is so excited. She's not nervous at all. Um, <laughs> we, um, we like to um, have New Diamonds come and speak on our team calls and kind of share their story and, and how they kind of got into Beachbody and you know how they got to Diamond. And I think Joan's a really special story uh, because she came in and she was the ultimate challenger. Like she came to me saying, I'm sick and tired of this. I need help. And I said, all right, you're going to just do what I tell you to do. And she was 110% all in and she made no excuses. She didn't stop for months upon months upon months and was just like the dream challenger. Like the one that you're like, wow, they're pretty awesome. And I always say how somebody is in a challenge group is a very good indication how they would be as a coach. And so Joan had really good results and she'll, she'll share that with you. Um, and I was like, Oh my God, you're going to be an amazing coach. And she was not having it at first. She was like, mm, no, I need to hit my goal. Um, and then we'll talk about it. She kept, I, she kept putting me off summer in the summer in the summer. Remember I'm like, okay. And it was really hard for me to be patient with her because I knew she had something very special. I knew she had amazing results and that she could be a really great coach because I know she's a great teacher. So let me tell you a little bit about her. Um, she is happily married to her amazing husband, Glenn, who I actually know from back in the day. We used to work at a gym together years ago. So I actually knew Glenn before I met Joan. I met Joan later on when we taught together at Virginia Road, right? So we taught together many moons ago. She ended up moving to North Carolina um, with Glenn, and they had three children. They have two rescue dogs. Um, Joan is very busy. She teaches online classes to teachers, um, and she also does a license. What is it? Licensing to teachers for the state or something like that. So you go to different schools, right? And you observe the teachers, do write-ups and stuff like that. So she's very much into education. 
um, and she's very busy. Um, her son has Lyme disease, so she's always looking for new ways to cook healthy foods. And so Beachbody kind of worked for her, and I'm sure she'll address this, but kind of worked for her lifestyle with how it was changing. Um, so anyway, so Joan had really great results, and I really wanted her to work as a coach. She was hesitant at first, and then finally it just started, and it snowballed, and it snowballed quickly. And just as she was an amazing challenger in the challenge group, she was just as great learning about coaching. She was very teachable. She, you know, she took notes on everything that I taught her, um, and she just ran with it. She, she did a lot of figuring out things on her own. You know, she was like always saying, I don't want to bother you. Um, so she's, she's just really, really a great coach. She hit Diamond very quickly. I'm sure she's going to talk about that. I'm going to turn it over to her. I don't want to give too much information, but she's an amazing, uh, inspirational coach. She has an amazing story. Um, so she's definitely somebody that you want to follow. And um, she's great at posting and sharing everything about what she's going through in her life. So I'm going to turn it over to her and let her share her story and some top tips that she can share with um, your coaches or people who are just trying to get going. So with that, Joan, are you unmuted? Wow. Wow. That was some intro. I feel famous now. <laughs> Boy, I hope I can live up to that intro, Kristen. <laughs> it's true. So. I hope. Um, my name is Joan, and I started out way quite a bit over 200 pounds. And um, as much as like, I've always been happy. I've always had self confidence. But when I look back, um, I'm realizing there's a lot of things that I was not doing because I wasn't comfortable doing them. So I had a lot of opportunities to present, to go to schools and to do different things. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm just good being behind the computer or, um, you know, not coming out. I realized there are really not a lot of pictures of me in my life at that time. Um, I was hiding behind the kids. I was trying to be ahead in all of our family pictures. Um, and I was just ready. I was ready to come out of that because um, I wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling great. As much as I was happy, I just wasn't feeling great. I had two knee surgeries. Um, I tore meniscus in both knees um, just from walking the wrong way. I mean, I was really at the point where I was heavy. The doctor said, it's time. Either you lose weight or pretty soon you're going to get a plastic knee. Um, and I could picture myself at 45, my husband, who is younger than me, pushing me around in a wheelchair. And, and I, I was like, I'm not having that. Um, the kids started snowboarding. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do snowboarding because, uh, you know, I was too big. So um, I took it day by day. I hooked up. I was watching Kristen. I was watching Kristen for a while, um, all over her, right? Um, I was that watcher we all talk about. And, um, I finally was like, I'm going to call Kristen. So Glenn actually went to the hospital because he had diverticulitis. And he came home the next day with a bag of things from GNC. He was going to take all these vitamins and do all these things and drink the shake. I was like, no, no. If you're going to do that, what I would do, if you weren't in the pictures, I would join Kristen. Um, I was afraid to ask him. So there was one of the things that everyone tells me, oh, I have to ask my husband if I can buy the challenge pack. And that's what I said to Kristen. I have to ask Glenn if we can spend the money. I didn't want to spend the money on me. Um, but when he came home with that, I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. You're going to do that. I'm going to do this. And I'm, I'm going to do it well. So I was nervous. I was scared. I had excuses. I, I didn't think I could work out because I had two bad knees. And, and I gave a lot of excuses. But as soon as Kristen sent me that first email with what I was going to eat um, and the shakes and how this plan was going to work and that I had to check in on a challenge group, I was all in. I didn't know why I was eating honey. I didn't know why I was using maple syrup or eating quinoa. I didn't really know why. Um, but I took, took what she said and I took it to heart and I, I went all in. Okay, so at that point, um, okay, hold on. I, I just wanted to mention one thing. Every excuse in the book, okay? I, I, was, I thought I was eating healthy. I thought, okay, if I just went to um, McDonald's and just got the salad and the Diet Coke, that I was, I was going to be okay. Like I was going to lose weight. And those things weren't happening. Um, so now I'm all in. Um, one day at a time turned into 10 pounds 
in a group, 15 pounds in a group, the guy in 21 day fix, when they say, Hey, he's been doing this for two rounds and he's up to 30 pounds. I was so jealous of him because I was at the beginning. And then when it was 30 pounds, I was like, I got you and I'm going to keep going. Um, so like Kristen said, I kept working on me, working on me. Um, but there's one thing I did do. I started listening in on the team calls when I joined as a coach. Now, I didn't have any idea what you guys were talking about. No clue, right? Um, it made really not a lot of sense. I kind of put it on in the background, but I was putting it on um, because I knew this might be something that I really wanted. Um, right now, um, I love, love, love coaching. Uh, I'm, I'm not only coaching with Beachbody, I can coach my daughter's softball team because I'm not hiding behind the bench, you know, waiting for my time to do it. I'm, I coached. I coached this season, and, and it was fun. Um, I took a snowboarding lesson. Um, I like to get dressed up for events and I tell my husband to take pictures now. I'm like, take my picture, take my picture, which was never me. Right. Um, I want to get in as much as possible because I, I want to be there when we look back at all these pictures. Um, coaching. Kristen told me to read professional development. I was like, I ain't got time to read books. What is she talking about? That's like for people that are sitting on the beach, reading a book, relaxing. I'm never still right? So I started reading. I started making sense. Um, working on me is really important. So what do I do? I share my story. Um, I think I really identify with a lot of the women and some of men um, that are joining my group. I, I know where they are. I get the excuse. I listen to their goals. I listen to what they're struggling with. I let them complain about they don't have time um, and say, well, where can we fit in a little bit of time for you? Make it your thing. Um, because if you don't have your health, you don't, you don't have anything, right? You're going to want to stay in the, in the sidelines. So um, the first thing I had to do, because people started calling me, People started, um, when I started tech putting on Facebook, my story, people started saying, tell me what you're doing. And then I said, Kristen, what do I say? They want to join the program. I have no idea what to say. Uh, but I'm having all these talks with people and just I, I'm getting to know a lot of people um, and building the relationships. So when I finally took coach training and I knew what to say to have people come into the group, there were people waiting, I think, because they were watching for a while, right? Um, so then I, then I got hit with, who did I talk to? Who didn't I talk to? Um, and keeping organized. So I'm like, Kristen, uh, Kristen, it must be the teacher thing. I don't know what it is, but I needed a book. Like I have every person I've talked to pretty much in this book. There was a month or two that I used a binder system. That didn't work. It was too crazy. One book because um, it's a lot, I carry it with me. I throw it in the front seat of the car. So wherever I am, I have my book. Um, I do have a binder that I keep as well with the, the vital behaviors because I couldn't remember those to save my life. I couldn't remember the five-step invitation process. Um, and then one night, one of those little nuggets came from Dave. He said, I use Evernote. Said, Evernote? What is he talking about? What is this Evernote? Because I, I just kept saying, Kristen, what do I say again to this person that told me they want to join? I think she's going to lose her mind with me, actually. <laughs> and she's like, I told you already. Save it. So once I figured out Evernote, then I was able to save. I have saved every little snippet that Kristen has sent to me now, and it's organized. Um, so keeping organized, listening in on the team calls, giving valuable resources. I was afraid I was giving it all away for free and nobody was going to join the group. Like, why am I telling them about my mason jars? Why am I telling them how I organize my food? It doesn't matter. They still need the tools to be able to do all the things that I'm doing. So um, I give a lot of valuable resources. I started a healthy eating group and I just called it healthy eating and living the 21 day fix. And I have, I think, 800 members in that group. Um, so, and I just put resources in there and ideas and people, I meet people through there. Um, I continue to invest in them and I do have a list of them and every couple of months I'll, I'll hit like five of them and see where they are and how they're loving the group. And although some people are challengers or they're trying to sell me leggings, it doesn't matter. Those people weed themselves out of the group after a while. Um, but I do have at least five people right now a week that ask to join the group, um, and that's without advertising. So what did I do? I made a UK group for a free healthy eating group. 
Um, and I'm running an ad so they can join that group if they want to. I have like three or four people that have asked to join. Um, and I teamed up with somebody from my AMP training because I did the coaches training. Then we did an AMP training. Um, and I met Michelle. And Michelle and I have a lot of things in common. And we have a lot of things that are not in common. So we, we complement each other, um, which works out really nice. Um, so you make a buddy. And you know, you, the thing about this team is, Nobody's stealing from each other. Nobody wants that. If, if it's her person and she says, that's my girl, that's her girl. I'm not worried about it. There's, there's so many other people to pull in, and it's nice to have somebody to, to back you up. Somebody's got your back. Um, I, did, I was running my own challenge groups, which was really fun, and I was putting a lot into those. I've made videos. I've, I've explained things, um, but all from finding out where they are. And Vicki helped me a lot. She helps me post, which is awesome. And Lori helped me post. And I had a couple of my newer coaches start to help me post with Water Wednesday or whatever we were doing. Um, so what happens from all these groups is I start to meet people that are like me. Um, so, of course, I like them, right? Um, <laughs> um, and it just seems to work out. We complement each other. Today, I went to a mindful coaching training, and I've been reading a lot of PD, but the things that stick out are the things um, about investing in relationships. They really talked a lot today about investing in rela relationships. Um, think about the person and where they are. All the excuses I had are the same excuses I'm hearing them. They're real to them. Don't just put it off and say, that's, that's just an excuse. No, it's a real thing to them. How are they going to get rid of that excuse? What tool am I going to give them that will help them get rid of that excuse and be successful? Um, I provide them with support and, and help them until they're ready to roll. I've got a bunch of um, coaches in my group now that they're ready to be independent. Um, and I, I really enjoy that they're ready to be independent. So now I'm trying to build coaches. Um, I'm still looking for new people all the time for a success club and, and to meet new challengers. Um, but I'm, I'm looking for a talent um, and I can see their talent. I'm going to invest my time and energy in their talent and then it builds into a strength. Um, it just, it's coming really really um, slow for some of the coaches right now, but I think it's just like me. I can't rush them into doing it until they're totally ready. Um, and what I really liked about it was I tell them, te they're like, oh, no, nobody's joining, nobody's reaching out to me. Well, you got to tell people why you're doing what you're doing. And it's so funny because when I went to this training today and they're talking about the why, the why, the why, I'm like, that's David Kristen, that's David Kristen. Like, and it was just making sense. We watched these awesome videos. Um, the purpose of a coach is to help another person learn, grow, and change. So I thought that was important today. Um, I don't tell people what I have. I tell them what I believe. So I talk a lot about what I believe. And when my son needed to eat food that's healthy, um, this definitely turned into a lifestyle for us. He's gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, corn-free, soy-free. And if it wasn't for you guys and it wasn't for this program, I wouldn't know how to feed him. Um, and we wouldn't have this. He has neurological Lyme's disease, so he starts to twitch. There's been no twitching since November. Um, we do notice if he, we let him have a special treat um, that he will start to act up, and then we tighten the reins in on him. Um, but I'm driven by a belief. I believe in this clean eating program. I believe in Shakeology. He drinks vegan vanilla now. He really lo he can do the vegan chocolate. He loves the vegan vanilla shake. It, um, and my friends are seeing all of these things. I have people texting me, do I know you right now? I, I don't know what's popping up, sorry. Um, okay, what you do every day proves what you believe. And I think that's what's showing up to people in my um, Facebook groups is that I believe in what I'm doing. Um, I'm motivated by it. I, and I can do it. Um, I think I'm coming to the end right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. There, I just, I feel like I have so much to say, but basically, um, go back to where I started. I take my, my excuses and I really know that they were real and I really felt it. I didn't have 30 minutes to work out. 
So I'm, I'm showing that they do have 30 minutes to work out. And when I get a note in my inbox in the morning that says today, I got one that says, I have a dress on today. I haven't worn a dress in two years. I'm so glad that I'm getting the self-confidence that I need and I'm glad that I did it. Yeah, hello. Um, that makes my heart so huge that it makes me want to help more people. I, I really, really love this, Kristen. And I love you and Dave for bringing me into this. We love you. That was awesome. I mean, just the little nuggets that you shared, it, it's really just is, is what Beachbody encompasses. It's building relationships. It's belief. And, and, and it comes down to the fact that when you were not ready to be a coach until you were ready to be a coach. Right. You That's know what I mean? Like you were on your own journey and you didn't feel like you can give to others until you figured it out for yourself. And I think that's important for us to understand that, you know, a lot of my coaches have been like that, like been, you know, I see Jean Marie on here and Diane and, and Joanna, and some of them have been around for a long time and, they needed that time to be on their own journey before they said, I can help and give back to other people. And it took time to build that belief. So I think that's important that not every coach is going to come out of the gate and be killing it with success club. And that's okay. You know, and that's something that we right. do over time. And, and I think that those are the best coaches. Those are the ones that are still here. Those are the ones that are lifers. You know, those are the ones that we want to be here. You know, I see Carrie John. I see Maria. Like, these are people, Karen. I see people that have been around for a really long time. And they just, they're in it for the long haul. And it, it's about them. And then it becomes about giving back to other people and that belief. When I, when it got, the biggest nugget I took away was literally when I was, I'm literally standing next to Kristen and getting my food ready. And it hit me. Joan, when you said, and team, this was a huge thing, I take my, this is before I have a note, I take my notebook with me everywhere. I throw it in the front seat of my car. She said that in about a second and a half, but that shows you where her mindset is every single day of treating this like a business. She's leaving the house with her notebook because she's treating it like her business and her business is going through, you know, going with her wherever she goes. So I say to myself, and the question I have for all of you is, when you're traveling and doing things, is it like, ah, I'll get to this when I get to it, like hobby? Well, when you flip that switch, it's on your mind 24-7, 365. So, Joan, that little thing you said, even though you don't do that anymore because the Evernote, which is awesome, by the way, is, was a huge nugget of when all of a sudden, boom. That's what I took away big time from the call, and that's why you are where you are because you're living a life of intentionality, and I love it. And, and – you know, just to go back to Joan hitting diamond, you hit diamond fairly quickly. How long? Like less than a year. I mean, it took you. Right after AMP, I think after AMP, I had a lot of coaches trying to sign up. Right. right. So I think that becoming a diamond coach is intentional, right? Like you were pushing towards that. And what were some things that you were focusing on to get you to diamond? Um, definitely listening to what my coaches needed and getting my coaches into coaches training. Mm -hmm. So that's really important because they don't know where the back office is, all the questions I had for you and thinking back to the questions I had, but really sending them that intro and the hello, and this is what it looks like telling them about the groups that we have, right? Because they have no idea. All of a sudden, great, you're a coach. I put you in all these groups. And they're like, what are all these groups? Um, but showing them how to shortcut them and um, just listening. I'm always listening to people's goals, their struggles, understanding where that's coming in. Um, and I just want people that love this as much as I do um, to be with me. And I'm still looking for another partner in crime. <laughs> I have a few of my coaches that are um, getting excited. And I think after the coaches training, they're, they're definitely looking. So it's fun. Yeah, you have a nice little team. I see Vicky there. You guys, There's my girl. Yeah, you guys have a nice little team. I and, love her. And I think it's important that you just love each other. Like you just love on each other and you're like a family. Um, that's what, that's what the most important thing is. Well, all of us are a family. Like if you really think about it, I mean, I, I'm, Shanna, like I see Shanna, Shanna's been with us since the beginning. Like she, and she, she literally is family. But she was a hard sell guys. Just so you know, <laughs> had to work Shanna for like 15 years. It seemed like, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's, that's huge. Um, and I think, I just think like the things you said are just, just the basis of what she got, uh, she got yeah. what Beachbody represents. So mm -hmm. I think it's great. And, and again, You've always been a pleasure and, and being very teachable guys is so important and not, and, and not acting like you know everything because you don't, right? Mm -hmm. Like you make mistakes. Um, you learn as you go, as we still do. We fall on our mm -hmm. faces pretty much every day, uh -huh. um, especially now. And, and that's just part of what you do. And as long as you get back up and, she, you know, Joan says she's immersed herself in personal development. That's huge too. Now and today. 
I'm at this awesome mindful coaching and it's supposed to be for us to coach other teachers. Wow, everything just clicked. And here I am in this training from, for East Carolina University, put it, applying it to Beachbody because it's just making so much sense um, and coming together. My biggest mistake is when somebody new reaches out to me and I'm, I, wanna, I want those stupid success club points sometimes. And it's like towards the end of the month and I'm like, I just want to nail it instead of worrying and listening. And I know I'm going to listen and I know I'm going to get them where they want to go, but they need to know that before I'm shooting out videos at them and everything else. Right. Um, they have to know I genuinely care, which I do. It's not about the points. It's about caring. And um, I had to get there. I had to get there. I've had quite a few people that could be here with us now. And instead, like I probably scared them away with my over-enthusiasm, right? Yeah. If you listen to my Kristen's Monday motivation, that's what I was sharing today, how I missed Success Club for the first time, my first year as a coach, like 10 months in. And it was because I wanted the points. I wanted the points. I wanted the points. Yep. I didn't care about the person I was trying to help. It was the last day of the month, and I just needed her to buy that challenge pack, and she didn't. And um, it was a learning experience. I learned from it that I was not focused on the right things. I wasn't focused on her. I was focused on me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think that needed to happen. So very good point. Does anyone have any questions for Joan? Because um, she's been, she's, she, she really kills the business and she's doing really well. Anybody have any questions or comments? I exercise with students to my shame. I haven't been successful. Losing weight, my own fault. How do I share when I'm feeling I'm not being success successful? Terry, Joe, that's a great question. Be share that. Share that, right? That's exactly your, that. That's your struggle. That's the, you're trying to share something that's not you. Don't create document. That's something that Gary Vaynerchuk says every day. Don't try to create a post like you're asking. How do I share when I feel like I'm not being successful? You're trying to create something you're not. You document where you are in your life and what you're struggling with. That is the powerful post. And you know how many people feel the same way or are doing the same thing? Like, right. And that becomes you saying, you know what? Wow, you feel the same way. You're struggling with this. You're struggling with this. Let's do this together. Like maybe we can make something happen if we hold each other accountable. And that's how you invite people to join you, to do it alongside you. You don't have to be over here with your abs and, and wait for them to come join you. Like you do it together. That's like the whole point of it. Okay. What are some of your favorite PD reads, Miss Joan? Oh, gosh. I'm reading Mindful Coaching right now. And then I also did a leadership book. I can post those later. Um, but I, I can't pick one. They're all the ones that we've talked about. The Girl Code. Um, the, what is the first one we started? It was little. It was a little white book. The Compound Effect? Yes, that, that was my first one, and I felt like that was a great place to start. Um, I do a lot of um, reading online and a lot of more um, newspaper-y kind of stuff, too. Okay. And um, Dave. I listen to Dave. He's my – Dave, you can be a motivational speaker. You need to have a conference. <laughs> you really can be. My husband's like, who are you listening to now? I'm like, it's Dave. <laughs> and then <laughs> – uh, he can't see us. Don't worry. He's always worried somebody can see us. Like, he can't see us. It's just Dave talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. All right. What do you say to new friend requests that say, do I know you? Um, I say, I don't know. Do I? I think we met. You came up in friend requests. Um, you know, have we met? Whatever. I'll just throw it out there. You came up. I, I do use that one. You came up in suggested friends. Um, I do that a lot. Yeah, I usually say, um, you you popped up as a suggested friend. I thought maybe we had crossed paths at some point. Yeah. Just something like that. Very generic. I can post the mindful coaching book later on today, tonight. It's downstairs in the conference room. Okay. Um, Joan, is yeah. the free healthy eating group that you run an ongoing group or a private group for limited time? Um, it is a private group. It, I started out by inviting some of my friends that were interested in healthy eating because a lot of them didn't want to see my posts every day. So I was worried about that back in the day. Um, so it's, it's private group, but they ask to join and then I just click on them and I send them a little note from my Evernote that says, Hey, I'm so excited. You want to join my healthy eating group, share your goal with me. And then once they answer, I will, um, allow them to come in the group. Sometimes they don't answer and I allow them to come in the group as long as they're not like roading in fields or trying to sell something, but you have to watch it if you run a group because you have to look in the group and see if they've posted some crazy, crazy stuff and delete it right away and block them. 
if you get it crazy. Yeah. So it's ongoing. Ongoing forever. Yeah. Yep. And I post in there as much as I feel like it. Um, and you post recipes and stuff like that. You're always recipes, my food, some adventures, some craziness. Um, you know, and then I was worried about posting on Facebook with my friends and things like that. And one of Glenn's friends called like a couple weeks ago, Jay, you probably know him fields. And he said, Oh, your wife is on Facebook way too much. And this and that. And I said, Glenn, tell him to unfriend me. If he doesn't want to see it, it's okay. Just tell him to block it. He doesn't have to look at it. And his answer, Jay said, no, well, you inspire me really. So, uh, so really I'm inspiring him, but yes. he's in fear to say that. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. Good. That's good. Um, okay, so you're going to post about the mindful coaching. Any other okay. questions for Joan or comments? No? Yeah. All right. Thank you. No, thank you, Joan. Keep kicking ass, girl. I want it. I want this bad. I, I can't wait for Summit. I am, like, pumped. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to love it. I know. First time. We worked out for Sean T. We did the Sean T workout today. I never, I haven't sweat that hard in a long time. And <laughs> that was a really good workout. And two girls that are here at the conference came in and joined me. How cool was that? Ooh, potential challenger. Potential. Yeah. yeah, they loved it. No, you got to tell me more tomorrow. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, invite them back for another workout guys do you realize like like joan just is she's joan you're firing me up right now maybe i need to go make a video thanks to you but <laughs> when you go to summit guys you're surrounded by all these people like this like do you realize what it would do to your business you know people that are excited at the same time people that are bouncing ideas off of the business people that are you know it's just everything you pick up there for four days you come back a different person I'm excited. you know Totally, you're surrounded by people like this that are going to lift you up every single day for four days, and the stories are going to blow you away. Yes, Wait. you're going to love it. You're going to cry. You're going to laugh. It's going to be awesome. We're going to sweat. I know. I do know that we are going to sweat, but that's okay. Um, all right, guys. So without you did record this, right? Yep. Okay. So thank you, Joan. Thanks for sharing your story and for sharing your tips with us. That was awesome. Um, thank you guys for joining us and we will see you next week. Actually, no, we're going to see you tomorrow because what's tomorrow's workout? Who knows? What is it, know. Mel? Anybody know? Melanie, you're the Sean T. She did not know. I don't know. I don't know. All Mel, right. your hair is like blowing like in the back, like you're like in a movie as you're just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, have a good night. Thank you, Joan, for being on the call, guys. We'll put the recording up tomorrow. Love you all. Team Perseverance in the house. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Night, guys. Bye.